Hello, everybody. This is a video response for Bronco and Kevin at Baseball Card Illustrated. Congratulations on 400 subscribers. They wanted to hear about, 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 I don't even know what language I'm speaking anymore. A collection of yours, a player you collect that, you know, not everybody collects, right? Like, this is a guy that you collect, maybe you've never even heard of anyone else collecting him. So here is my Derek Jeter collect. I'm kidding, of course. Even saying those words in this house is totally scandalous. My player had three different stints with the Mariners. Kind of a late bloomer. A, a lot of it was because he just didn't get a chance to play when he was younger. Eighth all-time in home runs after the age of 40. And probably the greatest, or actually pro not probably, the best eye player of all time. That being said, his last name starts with an I. You guessed it, particularly and especially if you're a Mariners fans, Raul Ibanez. This collection actually is basically dormant in that at one point, it was pretty much complete. There really wasn't much else I could add to it. And I had, it's actually at one point quite a bit bigger because I had a lot of autographs. I had plates. I had one of ones, a decent amount. And fell on hard times. It kind of sold off the stuff that, that would sell so I could buy groceries and pay rent and stuff like that. So what you're going to see today is sort of the remnants of what was truly a great, 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 great super collection and had to absolutely be the best Raul Abanez collection in the universe because I know that because I wasn't being outbid on, I'm just going to grab a card off the stack here. Um, if I bought this, for example, and it was, you know, let's pretend this is a better card. You know, four ninety nine on eBay, two bucks to ship at the time. Um, I wasn't outbidding people. You know, like I was, <laughs> I was winning everything I was bidding on. So it wasn't like, even though Raul's awesome, he's he's a great player. Um, there just wasn't uh, uh, anybody else collecting him really in mass like me. So I do have the bobblehead. I cherish that still, and that's not going anywhere. This first thing is probably the only thing that I could, if I ever got starving again, which I won't, the only thing that's like super valuable left is here, or that I would consider super valuable, but it's not going anywhere because this was a straight up gift. Somebody I met on um, thebenchtrading.com, which is my first site that I joined to trade cards and talk about cards. I met a guy on there and we just struck up a friendship and he just straight up sent me this. And this is probably, I don't know, getting close to 15 years ago. Maybe, yeah, about that. So it's it's a bat. It's a Raul model bat. Signed in sh silver Sharpie. And uh, I have three bats in my collection. They're all special to me for different reasons. And this one's just special because I, I didn't ask for it. The guy saw it on eBay. I All I did was talk about Rula on on uh, BenchTrading.com. It was probably very annoying. And he bought it and asked for my address. Showed up, said, uh, he said, something's coming to your house. Open it on Christmas. And I opened it on Christmas and I was just blown away because I didn't, I didn't know the internet could be that. Now, of course, with YouTube, I've seen, you know, generosity like that multiple, multiple times. So I'm no longer like as shocked as I was, but I'm, of course, always, always appreciative. So here's some cards. Here's some more cards. Here's some more cards. Here's some more cards. And I put a couple aside just, just to pull out kind of my favorites. This collection is actually in transition. I'm moving how I store it 
and just trying to figure out where to go with it next because like I said it's just it sits in a box and then here's also some stuff that I had unsleeved on top loaded rather and that's there uh, I I did actually keep one autograph and it was my favorite one and there was a couple times even since I sold off my other cards that you know we were getting a little a little low on uh whatever here at the house and I thought I could get a few dollars for this but I just couldn't bring myself to sell it because I needed I needed to have the one autograph on a card so this is the Donner signature series and this is the millennial or sorry the century marks a pr there's a print run of 100 on these this is number 30 so it just says 30 but there's a hundred that's the stated uh, print run on that and that's a real nice card with a blue uniform blue uh, blue autograph cool background signed it right beautiful spot so that is one of my favorites and let's see what else do i got here um i pulled this i always loved these bowman interstate cards and a lot of times it'll show a map behind a player like either where they're born or where they play and in this case Raul was born in new york new york and there you can see uh New York right there by his right ear. And this is when Top still did some etching. Let's see if we can get that. You can see the wrinkles in his sleeves. Not in, well, the compass rose on his hat. Yes, there we go. Hope I don't blind you. But, great looking card. Uh, what else did I get here? Thought this was cool, a rated rookie card. It's kind of got a refractor type finish, even though it's a Donruss, it's not technically a refractor. That's a great looking card. Kind of has a plastic feel. And I'm not gonna remember the names of, of all these things. At one point I knew them, because of course I had a big checklist and I had a very strict inventory on this stuff. It was in order, it was in order of how it showed up on the checklist. But now it's just, they're just cards in a box, like I said. So I remember this particular year, uh, 95 score, 98 score. Hold on. 97 score. They went nuts with the parallels. And again, I forgot what this is called. I'm not going to remember. But this was one of my favorite. And this is actually a parallel of the team card. So kind of a parallel of a parallel. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Very nice. And that's why Platinum Team, 13 of 15. That's why it's numbered like that. There we go. I got two more here. I really thought this tops Chrome. I always forget what year these are. These are the, the Justin Verlander rookie year. But this blue really spoke to me. Blue refractor. Oh, it looks like I'm out of space here. We'll double up. Uh, not numbered, but beautiful card. Let's see if we can get... Oh, yeah. Hold on. We're going to do this right. For Bronco and Kevin. Uh, I think I grabbed one more here. Um, let's see if I can get it out. So, like I said, I forget what these are called. Spectrum, maybe? It's just Spectrum in small letters at the bottom. But mostly I like the die cut shape on this. And it's got an embossed... Oh, it is um, serial numbered. Sorry, 12 of 28. And it's got an embossed 28. Maybe you can see that right there. There you go. Now, of course, it's not going to stay straight in the, hold, in the stand. It doesn't need to. Oh, one more thing I thought was amusing. If I can, um, I might need to clear up some space here. Hold on. I was also able to zoom back a little bit to give myself some, some room. You know, we complain about a manufactured scarcity. And I think this is what people are talking about when they talk about that. These are all cosigners from 1997. And they change him a little bit, like he's with a different player in some of them. So there's Jose Lopez, Richie Sexton. But these are essentially all the same card. They change the color. 
Jose Lopez. Oh, there he is by himself. Uh, I think there's some Kinji Jojima in here. More Jose Lopez. And they just change the number. And every one of these pretty much is serial numbered. They're all, most of them are in the two or high 100s. And it's just, oh, there's a, a five. Check it out. Let's see what's special about that one. He's with Richie Sexton, and it's gold. So that's your that's your chase card there. I'm making a mess. But I just this is the kind of thing as I'm going through, I'm like, I don't know that I, in hindsight, needed each one of these. But that's the joy of, of player collecting. I think you get your blinders on. And it's fun to hunt them, of course. It's, it was fun to hunt them. But um, that's the that's the Royal Labanius collection. Some of this stuff is like definitely something I'm keeping forever. If you uh, collect sets or something and you're missing this card from your set, let me know because some of this stuff is expendable. That's it for now. You know, I'm just gonna leave you uh, going through some cards here. Congratulations, Bronco and Kevin. And uh, keep up the great work. I know 400 is um, was a milestone. It took me a while to get. I, I want to say like I stalled at like 380. And it took forever to get to 4. And then it felt like there was another kind of stall out. There's always these stall outs. And for whatever reason, lately I've, I've been getting like 2 or 3 a day. And I can't explain why. But YouTube's really weird. Oh, here's... um. Here's another version of that uh, other spectrum. This one's to 99. There's the red. Yeah. Like I said, if you're building a chrome refractor set from this year and you need this, let me know. Let me know. I I don't have to keep all this stuff. And I'm just I'm looking at freeing up some room. I know I mentioned it to uh, Near Mint Musings. I said, I have Raul Abanya stuff. And he's like, oh, let me know what you want to get rid of but i don't unless you're asking for something specific i love emerald cards it's a great one 199 until next time predictor edition i don't even remember that remember we don't count subscribers we count friends